Hi, I'm Mrs. Wenton here. I'm going to go ahead and talk about IVF statements. IVF statements are very useful for creating topic sentences for summaries. Um, they can also be used to create a thesis statement. And we're going to take a look at how this works. So what does IVF stand for? I is for identify, V is for verb, and F is for finish your thought. Let's focus on the I right for a few minutes. Identify means that you want to tell us what the genre is. That means what type of item is it? Is it an article? Is it a novel? Is it a, a news report? Are you sharing a YouTube video? Are you sharing an email, an interview? You need to share um, what thing are you sharing? You know, tell your readers that. Who is the author? Who is the, the creator? the creator's name. What is the title of this item? Uh, the date of publication. This is often critical because let's say you're talking about um, uh, education policy. Well, we want to know up-to-date information. You know, what are people doing uh, this year in 2012 or last year? You know, if you pulled an article from 1940s, that's going to be very different and typically outdated. And the source. The source is helpful for understanding um, the intended audience. So sharing the source is usually a good idea as well. So let's take a look at some examples of identifying statements. Um, poor identification is when uh, students begin sentences with, it was interesting. Well, what do you mean by it? The article was interesting. Well, there's millions of articles written. Which article? Um, you'll notice a good identification. The New York Times article. Well, this is a little better because let's say we had read a New York Times article in class. And then I think that you are referring to this, if, if I am your reader. But a better identification, this one permits any reader to understand what exactly what article you're talking about. August 20, August 2000, <laughs> I'm getting all tongue-tied. The August 21st, 2011 New York Times article by Roland Wise, Is College Worth It? This article lets us know the date, the source, New York Times, the article, which is the genre, the author's name, and the title. There's lots of information. And this is really great because then I could open up Google or even go to NewYorkTimes.com and I could find this article. Now let's go on to V, verb. The verb means that you choose the verb that fits your purpose best. Um, it depends on what you're, what you're writing an IVF statement for. Um, any of these verbs might work if you're writing a summary IVF statement. And depending on what you want to do with your, your essay, these could also work as a thesis statement verb. And we'll, we'll look at some examples, and this might make more sense to you. But describes, explains, presents, offers, informs, discusses, considers, asserts. You know, if, a, if an article is making a very strong opinion or suggestion, asserts is a great verb. Um, if it's kind of just sharing some information, explores is a good verb, or shares. It also depends on the tone of the article or what you're sharing, um, what you're writing an IVF statement about as well. Finish your thought. So why, you know, what are you doing in this IVF statement? For a summary IVF statement, this, this last part is where you paraphrase the main idea of the article. So whatever it is that you want to focus on in your summary, if you, let's say you're writing a summary paragraph, that's going to be the finish your thought part. Um, when you get to your synthesis essays and you need to use an IVF statement, you're going to share the idea from the article that you want to focus on. It may or may not be the main idea. So knowing how this form works, how the IVF statement works, then you can manipulate it to fit your purposes. Now, what I would suggest, if the title of the article is the same as the main idea, 
then I would exclude the title from your IVS statement because otherwise you end up um, repeating yourself. Um, let's take a look at uh, an example. Here's a poor example of an IVF statement. It talks about student loans. Well, what is it? And unless you're, this is not, I mean, unless there's a person talking, talks is not really the best verb choice. And then student loans, what about student loans? What does it say about student loans? Here's a better example of an IVF statement. In his October 2011 CNN Money article, Taxpayers in the Lurch, Roland Wing discusses how there is an increase in defaults on student loans. This is a good example of an IVF statement because here we have the date, so this is relatively new, the source, CNN Money. It tells me the genre article. If this had been, you know, one of those news videos they have on the internet, then you would, this person would have put a um, news clip or news video or the appropriate genre information. It includes the title and it also gives us the writer's name. And this is the verb choice, discusses. And then here's the main idea of the article, how there is an increase in defaults on student loans. Now, sometimes all of that information is very awkward. It makes for a very awkward single sentence. Um, I, it, it, these examples did not just come out right the first time. I usually write them all out and then kind of reorder the words. It, you do have to kind of play around with the wording a little bit to make it a smooth sentence. But sometimes including all of that information in a single sentence can be very awkward, especially if the title of the article is very long. So here's an example of a two-sentence IVF statement. Um, an October 2011 CNN Money article by Roland Wing discusses how there is an increase in defaults on student loans. Taxpayers in the lurch shares some disturbing numbers. Da, 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 da. So this is an example of the beginning of a, of a summary paragraph. And in the first sentence, I have the date, the source, the genre, the writer's name, and then I have my verb choice here. And then I have the main idea of the article. And then in the second sentence, I share the article title. And you'll notice it's in quotation marks. And then I continue on with some of the key points of his article. And that's one way to, to make the first sentence, the IVS statement, not quite as unwieldy and awkward. So here's a template. Um, this is one template, and there is another way to do this. The blank date and source article by whoever's name, and then you put the verb, and then you paraphrase the main idea. You always want to paraphrase things and come up with your own wording. Um, I put a note here. Remember that you will have to probably play around with the wording. It does take some getting used to this format and remembering to put all this information in. You don't want to just list it and then think that's a sentence. You have to to play around with the wording and make sure it flows smoothly. And let's take a look at um, an article. Um, I had you read this article, How Whole Foods Primes You to Shop. And so I have all my identifying information up here at the beginning. We've got uh, the date, September 15th, we've got the article title, we've got the author's name. I didn't put the source, fastcompany.com, so I think this was actually an article on um, that was linked to Yahoo at one point. But anyway, uh, let's take a look at the sample IVF statement that I put together. And you'll notice this is slightly different from the uh, the template. 
I put in his September 2011 article, How Whole Foods Primes You to Shop, comma, Martin Lindstrom shares marketing and presentation strategies that markets use to convince customers to keep buying their products. I should have put grocery stores because marketing and markets sounds too too close and that kind of confused me. And this is an example of how you kind of have to play with the wording to make it sound smooth. And this might seem like a lot of work, but it really will show um, attention to detail and it will lift your writing to a more professional level. So once again we have uh, the date, the title, the genre article, and I could have said if I wanted to work in the source, um, in his 2011 September, in his September 2011 article um, posted on fastcompany.com, oh no that wouldn't work either, the article How Whole Foods Primes You to Shop posted on fastcompany.com, Martin Lindstrom shares marketing and presentation strategies. So I've gotten the key inf identifying information because you could open Google, type in this title, and find that essay. And then you check the date and the author's name and you'd know, yes, that's, that's this article that I'm talking about. Um, you'll notice in green is my finish the thought because I am using this as a summary IVF statement. So this is my paraphrase of the main idea. Okay, now let's briefly talk about using an IVF statement to create a thesis statement. Now, of course, this depends on what you want to, what kind of an essay you're writing. Um, this is just a very basic one, an analysis of, and then let's say you have to analyze an article or something, demonstrates or whatever verb is appropriate for your project, that, and then your main point. So sometimes these templates are kind of awkward, so let's look at a, an example. So an analysis of local grocery store produce sections demonstrates that consumers need to be aware of how they are being subconsciously manipulated to spend more money. I would add that too. To spend more money. So then this tells my readers, and this is kind of a good way to just get a thesis statement going. Of course, as you write, and you can always kind of reword it and fine-tune it, but this gives you a focus to your essay. This tells my reader that I'm going to talk about local grocery stores, probably two or three. I'm going to talk about how they have set up their produce sections, and then my overall point of my analysis is that consumers need to be aware of these strategies, and so it tells the overall point to my essay. So I hope this was helpful on how to use IVF statements to identify what you're going to talk about. And you can also use them to help you create a thesis statement to get started on your writing project. Thank you for listening.